the people that you are around. The people that you are around. Time and time again, my brothers and my sisters, Wallahi, I've seen brothers run into the wrong crowd. You know how we brothers sometimes advise the masses, especially the youngsters, not to hang around with drug dealers. Sah? Unfortunately, we have to say that also over there, but not to not hang around with drug dealers, but just to not to run, but not to run into the wrong crowd. So your environment is extremely important. Also, if those that you're hanging around with don't have high aspirations, this is also going to really, really affect you. If you're hanging around with somebody who just sleeps all day, he's going to affect you as well. Because when he is meant to be sleeping and he's not, you're going to be staying up with him as well. Your timetable is going to go with it as well. And a common question that people tend to ask is how can I get rid of procrastination? How can I up my morale? How can I memorize more? And so on and so forth. You see? Walakin, you hanging around with these kind of individuals will only affect you. So one benefit that I wanted to mention is what are some of the ways to kind of overcome this? The poet, he says, Five things. It is the ilaj, the cure, the treatment for ضعف الهمة. When your himma, your aspirations go down. قراءة في سير الأئمة. Number one is reading the lives of the great scholars of the past. Allah, that really, really helps. So when seeking knowledge, you should always have some raqaiq, heart softness by your side, books of Ibn al-Qayyim, Sira uh, Alam al-Nubala, which I know is a big book. There is some mukhtasarat, summarizations for it. Uh, and just books like that, that can just really, you know, soften up your heart. Qira'atun fi siyar ila imma, wa dhikru fadl al-ilmi wa ta'allumi, wa suhbati al-tullabi ahli al-himami. Next one, my brothers and my sisters, is just uh, revising some of the benefits of knowledge and studying. You know what keeps me really going, my brothers and my sisters? If I was to ask everybody here, what is it that we're trying to achieve from this world? Where are we trying to get to? Everyone said Jannah, sah? Jannah to Firaud. That's where we want to go, right? What did the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say about seeking knowledge? Jameel, Jazakallah Khair. What's your name, Akhi? Hisar. Jazakallah Khair. Whoever takes a path in seeking knowledge, Allah will make his path to Al-Jannah easier. Your yeah, path has been made easier. Someone might try to pay sadaqah, fast, do this, do that. Great. But your path here is being made easier. And if you die in that path, even if you're doing a little a day, the hadith doesn't mean that you have to pack your bags and go to the other side of the world. Yes, that's the best thing to do. But you still fall under seeking knowledge if you are doing a little bit every day. وَذِكْرُ فَضِلْ عِلْمِ وَالتَّعَلُّمِ وَصُحْبَةِ الطُّلَّابِ أَهْلِ الْهِمَمِ Accompanying Accompanying individuals have high aspirations. Wallahi. That will really up your morale and make you feel better. Encourage you. I'm going to memorize this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Would you guys agree with that? Majalis al-ilm, the gatherings of knowledge is something that really does give you high aspirations, right? 